Good morning. Today we're going to discuss CSS box model. Okay. So I have here CSS is a CSS box model. So we have content, padding, border, and margin. So if you say content, one is mga text or images or videos na tong ibutang sa ato ang web page. So for example, I have here. Okay. So this one. I just an article about COVID-19. So, this is a content actually. So, because content is composed of katong mga gipang imben na to nga text, mga images, and videos. Those are content. But if you say padding, border, and margin, these are invisible unless if ato silang i specify. So, sa atong web page, content ato makita. Pero na ala, na ani siya margin actually, na pani siya border, and na pani siya padding. Pero invisible na siya. As of now, it's because wala natin lagi specify. So, today, we're going to specify the margin, the border, and the padding. Sa atong code, I have two paragraph. And the, we have here the first paragraph and the second paragraph. Let's call an element. First element is P. Obviously, P. Atong ikon na yung mga P tags. Ano ba background? Background. But before that, ito sa ano yung save. So, S-C-Y-L-E. Style.css. I don't... Okay. So, how to link your style, your CSS, so your HTML. We have here the link. So, link, create is equal to style sheet. Then, type is equal to... Coded text slash CSS, then href is equals to coded the name of our, our style sheet. So we have here style.css, so style.css. And I guess you know that already. Because we tackled that one with our previous videos. So here, let's put background dash color property. Mm, let's say we're going to use hex color e5, e4, d. Seven. Let's make colon. So, I'm saying, makita na siya bakan color. Um, white smoke, something yung anak na hawi pili. So, makita na to ang background. But where is the padding? Sa asob na wala pa. Wala man na to siya na specify. So, how to specify padding? Just padding. Padding property. Say, 10 ppx. Save. So, um, save na to. So, muna yung content and muna siya ang padding. Kani nga space between the background and the content. So, muna siya content. As you can see, we have content, we have the padding. Content and padding. Next is color. I know. Next is border. So, how to specify a border? Border dash color black. Lang. And then border dash with 2px. Then, border dash style solid. Actually, we have lots of um, border style properties. We have solid, we have dash, we have inset, inset we have outset. Actually, dalan siya. So, as of now, um, we have to use solid. Gibulag bulag na nako, pwede natin islang mausa. Pero later on, I will discuss that one. Save that and look. So, we have the content. The space between the content and the border is a padding. And we specify the border. Border which is black, 2px ang size, and then the color A, and the, the style is solid. Now, how about the margin? So, as we can see, so we have content, we have padding, and we have border. So, sa atong border, actually, pili natin na mausa. So, for example, atong yung itang-tang. Tang-tang natin siya. 
border at may usa we have black what's the color it's a black size is 2px and i don't know uh, dash gonna sample na lang. it's just a sample dash uh, style so if i just run so you can see this one so dash dash and 2px and black so itong padak na lang gamay just a bit yeah, like that so pwede na ito siya mausa so if this is how we put a statement to a specific element so if you say uh, margin actually how where is the mar margin so if you say margin it is the space between the side of the page and the border so may siya margin it is the side the space between the side of the page and the border actually ma mga nung na ano siya margin nga wala man ta nag specify og margin dere okay the answer is the browser automatically add some margin between the element mana ni siya so if magbotang tag usa ka element automatic ang atong browser mo create siya og iyaho og nga margin unless if ato siya ni specify nga no margin like mag create kag border aning body nato test atong botangan og zero ang margin so automatic kaning mga element nato no margins for example uh, i will call the body element Ay, magbutang ko ang border niya. And, so, it's not black. Red. For example, and then, so, hira na ito. Yeah. As you can see, kaning si border sa atong body, o ang atong border sa atong paragraph, nagtapot, di ba? Kaya wala man tayo specify ng margin. But, si browser, gatong atong border sa atong body, na asay space because the browser automatically add some margin. Is it possible that kaning browser nga yung create automatic, pwede ba nato ni siyang mawala? Like, wala na siyang margin. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. So, how? Hmm. We just call sa body tag. Let's just write margin zero, which means no margins at all. So after she run, as you can see, no margin. Okay, this another shot as a zero. Okay, that's one. And especially also in padding, we can customize padding also, like padding, for example. Yeah, yeah. You have padding dash bottom. You have to change the size of the left padding, the right padding, as well as the top padding. Okay. So, in Anna. So, and another one is, kung sila tanan ang akong botangan of properties. And then, iusa rin ako. So, si 20. PX. 20. PX. 20. PX. Ah, sorry. Dapat, no space na siya ha. Say PX, no space, and then semicolon. Let's try. Let's try. And then maybe try. Can we zoom? Zoom on good map. Oh, that one. Yes, did it. Tana na record. Did it. Tana na ako skin. Na record. Okay. That one. So, padding is 20 sa paragraph ra. So, 20, 20, and 20 sa padding. So, what if kanisha is 70 na ko? Kanisha is 70. So, which means this one is for the top padding. This one is for the right padding. This one is for the bottom padding. And this one is for the left padding. Pwede po natin yan yun ang margin. So, same about top, right, bottom, left. Ingan yun na to ang margin. So that's how we customize pop margin and padding. Padding. Okay, so this is the CSS box model. So you can see we have the content, the padding, the border, and margin. So margin, bar the border, and padding are invisible unless if we specify it. So now we specify our padding, our border, the content, as well as the margin. 
So this is how we're going to specify a CSS box model.